Cancer and welcome to Positive Light Tarot. My name is Tracy and I'm so happy that you're here with me today. This reading is going to be for anyone who has placements of Cancer in their birth chart. So if you are Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign in Cancer, this is your reading. Please remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. This reading will be for the month of February. And as you can see, I have all the cards laid out in front of me. These are the energies and the cards that I will be using for your reading. It is gonna be a little lengthier because it is of course a whole general month of February. So sit back, relax, grab your favorite coffee, tea or drink, and let's begin. So we are going to start with your energies. Now these are gonna be the current energies, things that are happening currently for you, Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we will touch upon a little bit of past. So we'll see what's passing through that's bringing in these current energies. So spirit, angels, and guides, what are the energies for our beautiful Cancer? What are the energies that you would like to share for February for Cancer, please? Energies for February. All right, you've got lots, Cancer. Here we go. Bottom of the deck, number 51, healer of the ages. A lot of healing energy. This is something that's passing through. This is something that's really helping you bring your current situation into light. We will talk about that more. Let's start with all the cards that came up front, forward facing, and then we'll look at these two. So the first one we have here for you, Cancer, is number 53, Magician and the Mirror. This is comparable to the Magician in the Major Arcana Tarot deck. This is an extremely powerful energy. This is about really being able to uh, use your tools wisely because you are very powerful at this time. You are able to manifest the things that you want or you've been working on manifesting the things that you want. Then the healing energy definitely has something to do with that. So the next card you got was number 39. And this is your fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is your throat chakra. This is all how you communicate. So it's really communicating the things that you need, opening up those, those doors to really feeling that sense of safety and knowing that you can communicate, receiving messages to help you understand things and clarify things. And then you got number 44, woman holding a heart. This is definitely your energy cancer. Remember, women, men, pages, queens, kings, all uh, energies, not gender. But this woman holding a heart is definitely your energy. Number 44 is the number eight, and eight is all about abundance. It's about infinity. We are in the year of the eight. This is the year for you to really feel like your heart is starting to heal. Number 10, storm warning. So in your current circumstances right now, there is a little bit of turbulence. There is a little bit of rough waters, but tens are all about completed patterns. It's about something coming to its end. It's uh, the turmoil is coming to an end and we will see the sky start to, to lighten up. We will find out more when we, uh, when we go through the tarot. And then your final energy here, number 43, man holding coin. This could also be your energy cancer, or it might very well be somebody of significance in your life. And they are showing up in your reading currently as well. But we will get more into that with the tarot. So that being said, I think I'm actually going to really, let's get into a bit of the past here to find out why we've got these current energies. Then we will get into the tarot. So the healer of the ages, it's really all healing, healing, healing energy. And it's something that we all go through. So just passing through, there has been something that has required some healing and it has to do with something to do with the door to romance. So, you know, it could be that you know, you are starting to feel this sense of freedom. You're starting to feel this sense of, of, of newness. And it's really starting to open that door to romance because you're able to heal whatever it is in the past that was causing blockages. That healing energy is coming to, to the forefront now and it's opening that door to romance. It's, it's bringing that love that you've wanted back into your life because there has been a world of changes for you. The world is really seeing something come full circle. 
the world is a very vast place and there's a lot of things that happen in our universe and it happens to us and you know you've had a lot really going on and maybe that door to romance hasn't had its opportunity to be completely open but now this healing energy is coming into play and because you've been able to get some rest and rejuvenation that's passing through really meditating and really really focusing focusing on your health and really re kind of um, revitalizing your energy your mind spirit and your and your soul has really brought this whole new perspective of the world opening that door to romance because you're able to have this healing energy you are manifesting the things that you want you're communicating the things that you want and you're doing it with love and although sometimes there can be a little bit of a storm warning I, I, it'll be interesting to see what, what cards come out for your, um, for your tarot cards when we clarify, because storms do happen. It's part of life. And sometimes when a storm happens, what happens after a storm? A rainbow. So let's get right into your tarot. So let's get into the magician and the mirror. So spirit, angels, and guides, what would you like to tell us about magician and the mirror for cancer? And this again is for the month of February. So Magician in the Mirror, what would you like to tell us for Cancer? This is a very, very powerful card. Oh my goodness, and you got a lot, a lot of clarifications here. I'm going to save these two to the end and I'm going to read these two. So the Magician in the Mirror, you got uh, number nine, the Hermit. So the Hermit is a major arcana card, meaning that this is a major impact in your life right now. Hermit is Virgo energy. It, and it doesn't necessarily mean that this is a Virgo, but it's just Virgo energy. The Hermit is really finding out what that light inside of you is, going deep, doing some deep introspection, really doing a lot of soul searching. You have a lot of wisdom within you and you are really taking a little step back to really figure out what is important to you. What is the things that I need to manifest in my life? What are the tools that I need to bring that magic into my life? I need to figure out me. I need to figure out what makes me tick. What makes my heart, heart fulfilled? And really do some deep soul searching. So there is definitely that going on and that's huge. And then you got the Princess of Swords. So remember Princess, men, women, it's all, all energies. But Princess of Sword is about a new message that's coming to you. You are going to receive a message of truth. You hold that sword of truth. And there is going to be some sort of clarification that is going to be communicated to you because you did get, don't forget the fifth chakra here. There is going to be some sort of commu communication that's coming to you in the form of a message that's really going to send some enlightenment. And along with that enlightenment, you got the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is, is you, Cancer. This is your card. You are coming through as the Queen of Cups. You are a nurturer. You are loving. You wear your heart on your sleeve, but yet you are able to control your feelings. And, you know, you, you do a lot of your thinking based on emotions. Uh, you, you do it because you're very much a nurturer, very much a loving person. You're a very caring person, but you're also very intuitive. And it's very important for you to really grasp onto that intuitive side of your personality. Know that you have a gift here and that that gift is really going to help you do that reflection upon yourself to really get deep and figure out what your sort of truth is. What is that movement forward? What is it I need to manifest to bring that magic into my everyday life? And then you also got the Eight of Coins. The Eight of Coins is really working hard towards something. Coins are always to do with monetary things, but they're not always necessarily money because what we value doesn't always mean money. What you are valuing is the fact that you pay attention to detail, that you really, again, doing that soul searching with that Hermit card. You're figuring out your truths. You're figuring out more. You're looking at yourself from a deeper level. You're putting all the hard work that you need to into you. You are your focus. You are healing. This is the month of February is for you to do that healing and to pay a close, close attention to signs and intuition. Use your intuition because there will be signs sent your way to know that you are on the right path. 
big, huge message is Cancer for you. So let's get into the uh, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is our throat chakra. This is all about communications. And this seems to be in your current energies. So let's find out from spirit angels and guides what they'd like to tell us about your throat chakra. Why is that, why is that card here? And we'll see if there's, yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. Some of them want to flip and then they turn right back over. So we're going to take this one first. Sorry, there we go. You got the Eight of Wands. Okay, so the Eight of Wands is a very fast acting card. It's very much telling us that there's lots of information coming your way. Your communications are so acute and are so open right now. You are communicating on positive levels in many different aspects of your life. And all of these Eight of Wands, all of these opportunities, all of this information and messages are coming at you right now. And you are having to really, really, you know, take them one by one and really go with the flow, go with the flow, because this is really positive energy coming your way. And this communication has a lot to do with the two of cups. Two of cups is about partnerships. It's about soulmate connection. It's about love. And I am seeing a lot of that in your cards with the woman holding a heart, the man holding a coin. And of course, I know we have the storm warning there. We're going to figure that out. But you have a communication that I think you're opening up the doors to communication and these messages that you're receiving are strengthening the bond in your relationship. Now, this relationship can be with a partner, but it also can be a relationship that you're having with yourself. It's that deep introspection, that deep reflection upon you and really figuring out what makes you, you. But I do believe that there is some soulmate connections here. And I believe that the communication is really starting to open up on a very positive level. So now let's get a card for woman holding a heart. So spirit angels and guides, what would you like to tell us about this woman holding a heart? What is the clarification for woman holding a heart? There we go. All right, so you got the Seven of Swords. So I see why there might be a storm warning here. So the Seven of Swords is, of course, not the most beautiful card in the deck, although it doesn't look so bad with the, uh, with the uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot. This is withholding secrets. This is withholding information. This is, you know, we see the full moon back here. It is really, really keeping something deep seated inside. It's not it's not really letting too much information out. The two of swords here is like deciding just not to move ahead. I feel like there is something of a little bit of a de deceit or deception and it could be somebody around you, somebody that's not keeping their end of the bargain. Maybe they are keeping things hidden and I really think it's important for you to really use your intuition to filter through whatever deceptions you feel might be there because our life is always filled with great people and people that don't have our highest good. So if there's some sort of situation where you feel like communication is not, um, not coming through the way that it should, you need to pay careful attention. This is a warning. This is a warning that because you are such a wonderful person and you do things with your heart and you're very nurturing and very loving, people can take advantage of that. And you have to make sure that you are not putting your trust into somebody who is keeping secrets. That could be a family member, a friend, a colleague, that could be a partnership, anything. It's going to resonate differently with each of you. This is just a warning. And you also got the princess of coins. So something is being, you are being kept in the dark about something with somebody who is trying to, there's a message that's trying to come through that is a new message with some sort of an opportunity, but something is being withheld. There's information that's being withheld and this, this opportunity that wants to present itself is being blocked by the secret. So we will find out more with the incoming energies. So let's find out what this storm warning is for you, Cancer. What is the storm warning? Okay, so let's see here. Anything else? 
All right, there's two cards. And the first one, the storm warning, is the Knight of Coins. This is earthbound energy. So Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, not necessarily those signs. The Knight of Coins, Knights are about action. Although the Knight of Coins, he is somebody who's taking action, but in a slow way. He's building up his resources. He's building up the opportunities. And there seems to be something. There's this storm that's blocking something. So let me get this other card. And again, okay, so you got number uh, 18. You got the moon. I feel like the storm here is that somebody is keeping something hidden. Now that could be your energy. Maybe you're the one that's decided, hey, uh, you know what? I have some opportunities that are coming up and I don't want to really open up anything or uh, say anything to anybody until I know that everything is moving in the right direction. Because there is an opportunity here that is presenting itself for you. There is no doubt there is an opportunity, but there is there's somewhat deep rooted fears about moving forward. So you're taking your time, you're taking some patience and you're kind of letting the storm brew and you are, you know, you're really using a lot of that intuition to help guide you as to when the step to be communicative with all of this is the right time. Because communications are definitely open for you. You've got your throat chakra open, but there's still something that's that's preventing you from really, really expressing something outwardly. Everything is still very internal. And it's definitely some sort of opportunity. So let's see who this man is holding a coin. See if there's anything else. We definitely got one message right away. We got another. Oh, okay. We've got we've got three messages here. You've got a lot of a lot of things going on in your current circumstances, Cancer. The first card, of course, to come face face up is the Tower card. This is a number uh, sixteen. So the Tower card isn't about an abrupt change. It's about it's about something happening quickly. It's sudden change, and the reason this sudden change has to happen is because something is no longer working. You know, we have the devil falling out of the building here. We've got, we've got the structure here, the foundation that was not very strong is starting to disintegrate. And, but the devil, the control, the feeling trapped, the feeling of, of indecision is all flying out of this, out of this destruction, which is fantastic because we want to rid ourselves of those old energies. We no longer want those energies in, in surrounding us. So this is like feeling a sense of freedom, even though, even though there's this storm brewing and secrets not being revealed, this tower is coming to suddenly change that. We need that change in order to bring everything out into the open. And it has something to do with the three of swords. So there's been some sort of pain. There's been some sort of hurt and it's really, really taking a lot of time for you to heal. It's, it's forcing you to keep still a lot of those feelings deep inside you. You're not somewhat ready to release them because I think you're afraid if you release them, then you will no longer be able to feel, have those feelings anymore. And sometimes even if something is painful that we have gone through, sometimes it's hard for us to release the pain because the pain is just a gentle reminder of something in our life that probably was wonderful at one time too. So when we release that, we're afraid of letting go completely. So I think that the healing energy is really important for you right, right now. And this man holding coin could also be your energy. It's your energy of really trying to facilitate this change. You so desperately want to break free from the sadness and that pain. And to bring the three of coins, to bring that collaboration, that partnership, that love, that working together back into your life, to be able to release that sadness and bring the happiness, working together as a team. You don't have to do this alone. There are people out there that care about you, that love you, whether they're spiritual on a spiritual realm or whether they are your family, your friends, business colleagues, it could be anybody. It could be a, a community that you joined where it's just a group of people that you all work together and you all have the same goal and they're there to help support you. And you want to restore that energy. Your current energies is about healing. It still is about healing. 
looking at yourself from a different perspective, looking at everything in your life from a different perspective and starting to communicate the things that you need. Don't block your communications because of fear. Okay, so that is your current energies. Now let's get your incoming energies. These are the energies that are coming in for February. This is what's going to help bring us through February, Cancer. So spirit angels and guides, what can you tell us? for the incoming energies for cancer. Incoming energies for February for our wonderful sign cancer, our most nurturing and loving sign. Okay, anything else? Okay, those are the, those are the major, major influences here. I am gonna open this one first. Movement, choices, and decisions. Now, when I was pre-shuffling, because I do pre-shuffle all of the cards before I do your reading, this did come out. So twos are about balance as well. So movement, choices, and decisions. You are ready to move forward. There are choices and decisions that you are going to have to make. And it looks like, as you can see here, you've got choices for something, something new opportunities that are growing. You've got the rings here, which is all about committing yourself to something and you've got the coins. So this is really making massive decisions and moving forward to some prosperity, some commitment and, and to something that you really love. So it's, it's really a lot of pulling all of these energies together and starting to really make some incredible choices. And you also got the number eight, accelerated motion. Now that is very comparable to the eight of wands. Messages coming at you, positive messages. It's, it's the universe saying, okay, we have to set things in motion. We have to have this movement. We can't be stagnant. We have to keep moving. Time heals all wounds and now it's time for you to realize that you need to move forward. And the universe, the, the angels are shining down on you. They're giving you number 17. They're giving you this sense of hope. They're giving you this sense of, it's like a spirit in the sky saying, I want you to have your wish fulfillments. You have suffered enough. It's time to heal. It's time for you to feel this revitalized sense of hope. I want to bring joy, love, and, and, and friendship and all of those wonderful things back in your life. It's feeling fulfillment and knowing that, that you have paid your dues and now it's time to move forward in a positive, happy, harmonious way. Let's get some tarot to, to, uh, to really delve into those. So let's find out with the movement choices and decisions. Universe really wants you to start making some decisions and moving forward. Stop looking backwards, start moving forward. Let's find out. What are the clarifi clarifications for movement, choices, and decisions for Cancer, please? This is your incoming energies. This is your incoming cards. Okay, we've got, we've got two flippers. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh, we got a lot here. I'm gonna read this one last. Okay, so you got to start with, with this movement choices and decisions, you've got the four of pentacles. You are holding so tightly onto something, you're afraid to release it. It's your fear of letting go. This was your stability. This is your security. And the thought of having to let any of that go and move forward is scary. And sometimes that's why we, we go within and we don't, we don't take the action to move forward. So you're holding on tightly to something and we got number 15, the devil. You're holding and trying to control something. And this control that you are doing is not for your highest good. It's something you have to release. This devil energy has to be released because if you do not allow it, if you do not say goodbye to that energy and you keep holding tightly onto it, you will not move. You will stay stagnant. And those choices and decisions that you need to make you won't be able to do it. You'll be in a position where you feel at a standstill. These are not energies. This devil energy is not energies that we want to bring forth as we continue down 2024. We want to deal with them in the beginning and put them to rest. And you got number five, the Hierophant. 
This is a, this is a enlightenment card. This is getting wise counsel. This is feeling a sense of commitment, committing yourself to something. I want to see you. What universe wants to see is this movement. You making these decisions and these choices, letting go of toxicity in your life or, or feelings that you feel trapped, that you can't move forward. Know that there is light there and that the light is shining down and this this, you just need to commit yourself and bring that faith back in. Bring that faith back in to help you move, make that movement and make those choices. And your last card, beautiful, beautiful. I love this sense of victory here. Ace of Swords. It is getting to the sword of truth. It is your sense of victory. It's being able to receive the communications and the clarity that you need to feel like you can move forward absolutely amazing for that you will move forward you have the strength to do it let's find out this accelerated motion let's find out what's going on with accelerated motion and can we get one card for accelerated oh perfect okay and look at this accelerated motion you got two of cups again and not only did you get two of cups again but in the current situation you got two of cups and the eight of wands in your incoming energies, you got the Eight of Wands, basically, and the Two of Cups. It is repeating itself. What your current energies are, are the energies you need to be focusing on through the month of February. Concentrate on all these beautiful messages that are coming, this rainbow of love, the abundance of love, your cups feeling full, the full moon and the light shining underneath so that there's no more secrets, that you're opening up your world to a whole new sense of accelerated love, opening the doors to romance, not letting them be blocked by past hurts or past losses. And then we are now going to get some clarifiers for that hope, which is basically the star. It's wishing upon a star, feeling those wish fulfillments. There's a lot of love in your reading, Cancer. I think you've got a very wonderful, deep-rooted soulmate connection here. We are in the month of February, month of love. And with this, sorry, excuse me, with this star card, number 17, hope, you got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is about taking action. She's an extremely um, attractive qu queen. Again, remember, no, no gender. But she's very strong. She holds the wand of inspiration, the wand of action. She is ready for accelerated motion. She is not going to stay stagnant. She wants a wish and she's going to fulfill it. You have to remember, we started your reading with the magician. You have the power. You have the tools to move forward for your highest good. And you've got the, the angel of hope there helping to heal and guide you and help you strengthen your intuition to move you in the direction with love. Beautiful energy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one card from our angels, spirits and guides, to kind of just give an overview if you could really just depict this entire reading with just one card, what, was, what would this card look like? And so spirit, angels and guides, what is the card that you would like to share with beautiful Cancer for the month of February? What is that one card? One card for the month of February to tie everything together. What is that message? It will come. Oh, we've got a flipper. Oh, and we've got, okay, so I'm taking both. Sometimes there's more than one message. All right, so we're going to start with the one that has revealed itself here. So the card is number 12, Fool. So the number 12, this is a significant, significant number. This new beginning, because a fool is about new beginnings, sometimes they're beginnings that we are kind of taking a risk with because we're not sure how they're going to end up, but we're ready to start a new journey. So this could happen around the 12th of the month if we were to put time frames on it. So let's say, you know, within the next two weeks or within the next... Um, you know, first half of February, you might have the courage to embrace change, take risks, be adventurous, 
heal, allow the healing process to take, take, take its, its steps. And then you also got number 11. This is a master beautiful number. This is lucky 11 flowers. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. I'm so feeling this scent. Like I just want to smile because I'm feeling new beginnings, feeling that sense of love, feeling that sense that you're finally turning a corner where you're feeling this sense of hope, light, and, and success. And I think it's a lot of emotional things that you're trying to heal. And those emotional things are going to bring so much abundance into your life, Cancer. I'm loving to see this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get the surrender cards. Now this is the power of surrender. I'm going to use these because there's always something that we need to let go of. There's always something we need to surrender to. And we need to figure out what that is because it will help bring us uh, and uh, to our new journey. It'll help us with uh, moving forward in February. So spirit angels and guides for our beautiful sign of cancer. What do they need to surrender to? What is it that they need to surrender to? So you need to surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So you have the ability to pursue a dream, a dream, a wish, something that you really want. So surrender to creativity. Allow your creativity and your imaginations to flow. Don't ever set limitations on your dreams. Dreams can become reality. You have the magician. So now we're going to get your manifest success cards here. And this is going to give us a little bit of idea of what's going on with money, finances, and career. Let's find out for our beautiful Cancer what is happening in the sense of money, finance, and career. Let's see if we can get one more. One more card, please. Thank you so much. The first card you got was a gift. Giving and receiving. Sudden windfall. Generosity. This is beautiful. So this is a very lucky time for you. You are receiving a gift. Now this gift doesn't necessarily have to be monetary. It could be spiritual. The spirits could be looking down and really helping to help you heal and guide you in the right direction, guiding you towards your rainbow. So for some of you, you could be uh, in a career of financial support where maybe you actually support somebody financially, or you could be in finance of some sort. And it looks like there's a work surprise. So there's something really great happening where work is considered. And it could be also taking a vacation, taking some time out. Vacations can be long awaited, beautiful, you know, long journeys, or they can just be short little vacations where it just brings us a sense of, of like, a, like a retreat. And then you also got watch. So now it's time to profit. It's divine timing. The timing is right for everything that is happening in your life right now. You need to seize the moment. You've got a lot of eight of wands energy, meaning a lot of accelerated motion. A lot of things are taking place. Seize the moment. And in career, it could be about a waiting period. So sometimes we have to wait until divine timing kicks in because when we are guided, and that timing kicks in. We know that we're doing things in the right in the right time frame. This could have something to do with temporary work for some of you. You could be just doing temp work to bring in a little bit of extra income. Some of you could be laid off as well, but it means that it's time to profit that in divine timing everything is going to fall into place for you. Excellent. So that's what I have for you here. I am going to uh, end this beautiful reading with your angel number messages. This is going to give you your lucky number as well as um, an affirmation. So it's something to take with you for the rest of February. So spirit angels and guides, what is the lucky angel number for our beautiful Cancer and the affirmation? What can they take with them for the month of February? Spirit, angels, and guides, what is that lucky number? And I have a flipper. I have the flipper. I see it. All right. Oh, you got two. You got two. Okay. So let's start with this one first. You got number 10. I am ingenious. You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allow you to dream up. 
ingenious ideas and organize all the details, then direct others how to carry things out. You are ingenious. Beautiful. Dream up. Don't see. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Don't block it. Number 10. Tens will be a very, very auspicious number for you. But you also got number 999. So watch for these repetitive numbers as well because they are signs from spirit telling you that you're on the right track. So thank the past for your lessons and leave it where it belongs so you can make the best of the, of the life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. Leave the past and thank the past for all the lessons, but you need to leave them where they belong. A lot of healing energy for February, but you also have a lot of soulmate love, love as well. I hope you enjoyed this reading. That's all I have for you today, Cancer. If you found that some of this reading resonated with you, please leave comments and, and let me know. I really love to read them. Please also consider subscribing, liking, and sharing the channel. And also hit the notification, notification button so that when I do upload another video, you I will be the first to know. I will have a mid-month reading for you in February as well, Cancer. So until next time, sending you love, light, and positive vibes.